up the far side. This one is crossed over toward the box, but nothing that the Skyhawks can't move away. Penman coming back with it again. This one is scored <laughs> already. Just two minutes into the game, and the top scorer for the Penman, Ryan Bukemia, with the goal, wow. his fifth of the year already. Wow. Moving over to his left. Then Brem trying to head it forward. And this one's kicked on net, but saved again by Zuko. Wonderful save by Zuko. Great awareness of where the ball is going to go. Yeah, and another great example of his skills here as he's able to come down onto that ball and secure it, make sure that the ball doesn't come loose. And now Claude Diaz will come forward with it. Long kick here intended for Bukemia. Can he get to it? This a lot of contact oh. here. And Bukemia with potentially a free chance, and he is blocked oh. away. And excuse me, that was Enzo Giuliani advancing the ball. But what a play. So wow. McDonough comes way out of his net. Well, Giuliani looking like he has free space. And it ends up coming right off the cleat. It was a great defensive play. I mean, you can't really play it any better than that. But here's a corner chance for the Penman. This one's headed in. And just like that, the Penman make it 2-0. So after an, a spectacular defensive play for the Skyhawks, the Penman come right back and strike off the corner attempt. It's Giannis Becker with the great corner. He's able to put it in the perfect spot. Right off the head of what it looks like Giuliani for the goal. 2-0 Southern New Hampshire. Here comes Reynolds on a breakaway and it oh. goes off the post. Wow. Reynolds had a breakaway chance, and he was unable to net the Penman third goal. It would have been the Penman third goal of the game. Reynolds with plenty of space. This is the second opportunity that the Penman have squandered that could have been a goal. This one's advanced beyond midfield. Penman again. Now with Giannis Becker off his right foot, moving it forward. And here comes Latch. With the shot, and it's off the post again. Wow. I, I cannot believe that we've seen two of these plays now in a row. This one's kicked forward, but diving effort by Bronco. Not going to matter. Penman moving this one forward. Here's Giuliani. One-on-one -on -one against McDonough, but McDonough able to make the stop. Giuliani can stick with it. McDonough still far out of his net. He tries to move this one over to Becker. Another he's, opportunity. He's not able to do much with it. And now Stonehill will try to advance the ball forward. And it's going to roll out of play. Three consecutive chances for the Penman in the last five minutes or so that have not gone anywhere. So Latch here. This is so close, but it ends oh. up hitting that post. We've seen two post shots. Now here's Giuliani kind of losing his balance momentarily. That may have played a factor into the weaker shot. And this one is headed away by the Penman. They will advance forward and a great move there by Giannis Becker. Now, Matt Crowley trying to stick with the ball. This one is kicked oh. wide. Another chance for the Penman not going their way. And that was Robert Brown trying to redirect it in. Matt Crowley stirring the pot, really getting involved into the mix here as McDonough was unable to clear the ball away. Will kick it away. Penman going to head this one off. And the Penman are going to stay on that shutout streak. An excellent win here at Larkin Field for your Southern New Hampshire Penman. A 2-0 victory. Second consecutive home win.